Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 69. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 67 to 71. Hey, this YouTuber asked about the autofill option, which is also smart tags. Hey, the way these things work, and we'll see in just a second, is it depends on if you have a number in the cell and you're copying the number, whether you're copying the date, whether it's Word. Uh, and numbers, whether there's a formula or sometimes whether you just want to copy formatting. I want to click in this cell right here. I'll make this a little bit bigger. And uh, the autofill options, also called smart tags, always are dependent on what's in the cell. Hey, look, there's a, a number in the cell. So when you point to the fill handle, that's the fill handle right there. And when you there's the selection cursor. That's called the angry rabbit right there, or crosshair, as Bill Gates calls it. If I click and drag, watch what happens. That is the, if you point to it without clicking, you can see it says auto fill options, also universally known as a smart tag. Let's click on it. Notice the context sensitive menu. Copy cells, which means it will copy just one. Fill series, which means it'll increment one, two, three, four. Fill formatting only, which we'll see in a second, and fill without formatting. I'm going to say fill series. And sure enough, it fills series. Let's see what happens when there's a date. This is probably the coolest um, autofill options. And by the way, that goes away only when you do something else. Like I'm going to type uh, one here and enter. Then it goes away. But the autofill options, um, the most amazing example of it is with a date. So let's highlight that date and click and drag. And this right here gives us a bunch of options. We can fill series, copy cells, formatting only, without formatting. But look, fill days. Oh, you can't see it down at the bottom. Let's try it to there. Uh, this is amazing. Fill days, fill weekdays. So if you're doing payroll and you only want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Fill months if you're doing a monthly reports or years. I'm going to say weekdays. Oh, that is the weekdays. Let's go ahead and try months. Sure enough, it did 728, 828, 928. Let's go ahead and try years. Sure enough, it has 728, 2008, 2009, 2010. So that's a great autofill option for dates. Now what happens with words and numbers? If you point to your uh, fill handle with your angry rabbit and click and drag, one, two, three, oh, anytime you have words and numbers, it thinks you want to increment, but you can point to your... Um, smart tag here and copy cells for instance maybe you just want uh, quiz one you could also say fill without formatting but the one we want here is fill series but sometimes this one's good because you don't want it to increment higher now let's see what happens with a, a formula and uh, I have a formula here with some formatting watch this if I click down this cell I've already pre-formatted it so I'm gonna type one notice the convention often with a column of numbers is that you have the dollar sign at the top but none of the dollar signs because it's implied that the unit is placed at the top and you don't want to clutter your data I'm gonna get rid of that and watch what happens when I point to the fill handle and I get my angry rabbit click and drag the formula worked right there, but I didn't want that formatting. This is the perfect use for fill without formatting. This is like pasting a formula, uh, just a formula. So I'm going to click fill without formatting. I use this all the time in accounting and finance because I have these beautiful tables that are formatted and I want to copy the formula down. But when you copy something, it brings format and the content. So that is a great use for fill without formatting. The final one is, the last situation is when you have uh, some formatting here and you want to copy it down, but you don't want to wreck the formulas down here. So you can simply uh, click and drag and then quickly point to fill formatting only. Now it doesn't look like a change there. Probably a better example would be, uh, uh, we want some words here like word one and then word two. So let's say you have some labels. Ooh, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, you could click here and drag and see now we don't want that word. We don't want the content to come. We just want the formatting. So now I'm going to click here and say fill formatting only. That way it keeps the content but just copies the formatting. That's like uh, this button right here. So that's a little bit about these auto fill options. See you next trick.